We're live at Newsom Stadium in Nashville, home of the Lycans, where country music started. A uh, bit of trivia for you, Grim. Nashville has the lowest number of teeth per person. Whatever. Remember, in the NFL, we encourage you to play with your food. He's probably lining up against you. The Nuke London Patriots take on the Nashville Lycans. Welcome to NFL Game Day. Grim Blitzrow here. Let's listen in on the sidelines and hear what the team's captains have to say. Hi, everyone. Grim Blitzrow with you on NFL Game Day. Hey, uh, Bricks, do you smell something burning? Ah, thanks for reminding me. I left my rubber foot in the toaster oven to warm it up. Last time I left it there too long, it came out like Saganaki. Oh, bah! <laughs> it's freezing in here. Hey, why don't you take a shampoo and ouzo, stick your head in the toaster oven. That'll warm you up. And it's first and ten. <laughs> and the defense just... Oh, welcome to Fumbletown, USA. Population, this guy. Well, he should be more careful when he hurdles. Second down in a very lot. He was starting to go somewhere, but he gets stumped after three. They usually stop me after three, too. You know, the all you can eat buffets? They're not as literal as you'd think. Third down and eight. That's a killer. It was right there, and then he dropped it. Ah, oh, scumbag is killing me in the fantasy league. And the punter takes a break from knitting on the sidelines to come in and punt. His knitting is a pound, Grim. That cross stitching, unbelievable. And he's got a chance for a good return here. And he sends him to the ground with an exclamation point. And a well-placed cleat. And it's first and ten. Hot, hot one, hot two. And the QB might as well just bury himself now. Oh, now the offense is getting kills. Ah, uh, this is a really violent game, guys. It's fantastic. <laughs> Second down in a lot. Oh, what a brutal hit! And it's first and ten. It's about a three yard pickup. Second down and seven. Oh, sure, now he catches it. I had this guy on my fantasy team last week. I lost so much money on him, not to mention my kneecaps. My loan shark is very anal about collecting my money on time, Graham. to play with soft balls. He's going to play with crushed balls from here on out. <laughs> Second down and more than the QB would like. If you don't hear it coming, it'll not... Oh, big catch! Big run! Big touchdown! Yeah, big deal. Missed the beat for Bray Graham with a ball and didn't fall down. <laughs> Did 
You don't try to get fancy here. Just put the ball down and kick it. In that order, Grim? The kick is good. Man, as expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. The home crowd isn't impressed with that showing, but their team has a chance to respond. First and ten. And then to first down from a great catch. Was it a catch, though? Let's consult at least 72 pages of rules to figure it out. And it's first and ten. He took a beast boost injection. Now watch him stomp all over his opponents. I want to take a beast boost injection, too. Uh, now, that is weird side effects, Bricks. Oh, and he fumbles the ball on that hit. When you hurdle and get hit, chances for a fumble increase. Well, that's a strange penalty called right there. I'm starting to notice that this ref likes talking, and he don't make much sense. No, but he's making a lot of dollars. First down and less than a yard. It's a jailbreak, and the defense jumps offside to kill the ref. Ho oh, ho! Crowd's loving it. First and eight to go. Some who would argue that we should just skip this step and make touchdowns worth seven. What, and kick the kicker's job in half? They'd just be called sitters then. It goes right through. Yeah, like a double stop burrito from Taco Hell. Here comes the kicker. Oh, I can't wait to hear this. What's the kicker, Grim? Uh, this guy in the field. Oh, I thought you were going to tell me a story like, here's the kicker. When I turned on the light, it wasn't a broad. Holy crap, he runs straight into a mutant trap and dies. Reminds me of my breakfast cereal, the old Nut Crunch. The burn returner was maimed by the opposing team, so it's up to the next man to replace him. Yeah, what exactly is a burn returner, Grim? Now, players who catch kickoffs and punts and run them back through the teeth of the defense. They have the lowest survivability rate of any player in the league. The next man up just sat back down on the bench. He probably grabbed his pants. And it's first and ten. Second down in a very lot. in football, the mighty punter. Nice punt, should move him back nicely. He's got the ball now and he's gonna try and... Oh, and that's when it feels like to have your teeth removed without Novocaine. If I had all my teeth knocked out like that, I'd have them made at the dice grin. It'd be fun to gamble with my own teeth. Mm. 
down and the punter is warming up. Well, it looks like he wanted to run before he caught it. You got to keep your eye on the ball. Come on, you dirtbag. You got to make that catch. You know, sometimes the best thing to do is just punt and let your defense get the ball back. And he put all of his foot into that one. And that'll be a touchback. I don't feel comfortable giving him a size while we're broadcasting, Grim. And so at the end of one, we're all tied up. We'll be right back. And it's first and ten. Good run for five yards. Hey, didn't move the change of score, did it? How good can it be? Second down to five. They go to the ground game and pick up the first. Nicely done. And it's first and ten. They're taking what the defense has given them. That's a four-yard gain on the reception. Hey, less than a wipe for the headache. Second down and six. Threads the needle for a first down. And it's first and ten. And there's an eight-yard catch. Chipping away with those medium passes. I like it. Like a patient prison break. Second down and two. Third down and, well, good luck. And the defense was reading him like a book. Like it was written in Braille, Grim. His hands were all over the ball. Oh, with the brutal hit. trick the last play is a race how did they do that did they go 88 miles per hour just asking oh great tackle when his brain is unscrambled he'll be thinking about that hit yeah most likely in a convalescent home And it's first and ten. And he punched his way out of that tackle. One time, when I was playing, a guy hit me so hard, I went into a dark tunnel. Thought I saw my grandparents waving at me in the light. Turns out it was just the visitor's tunnel that he knocked me into, and it was the paramedics waving fingers in my face. Butterfingers, he should have had that one.
Third down and eight. That's the way to keep the chains moving. That was beautiful. First down and five. for the touchdown. <laughs> and here comes the extra point attempt. Straight through the uprights. When you get knocked down, you got to get right back up and fight. Uh, what about when you get knocked up? What do you do then? Run. Oh, nice hit. And it's first and ten. And he gets three yards on that run. Second down and seven. A pickup of about three on that play. And four. Well, he made the pass, but then a slap in the face by the defense. Oh, that's me in the hotel bar every night. Hey, your opening line needs work. Why? Really? What's a pretty girl like you doing here all by herself? Are you a hooker? Well, it's a fair question. And he booted a high arcing rainbow. He's got the ball now. Let's see what he does with it. Oh, that was a big hit. Hey, Bricks, I'll bet you took a lot of shots like that over your career. Ah, uh, let's see. About a quarter after three, Grim, but my watch is a bit slow. And that's how you run the football. A pickup of seven on the play. Grim, why is it that Long meant... Smart move there, stopping the clock with their first time out. And for all you know, maybe he's just stalling or wiring the ref some cash. Second and three. <laughs> Nicely done for a first down. They stopped the clock, but they only have one timeout left. Ah, uh, that's okay, Grim. They can have mine. That's, uh, that's nice, Bricks. But our timeouts are for our sponsors, and we need money more than they do. Oh, the defense must have called a hot potato dirty trick. That'll wake you up, and then put you to sleep permanently. You snooze, you lose! Unless you're in a sleeping contest. That's it. That's their last time out. It's them against the other team and the clock. Well, that doesn't seem fair. I'm going to throw a hammer on the field and even the odds. Holy mother of mutant mayhem, he scored! Okay, nice and easy like a two-foot putt. You miss two-foot putts all the time, Grim. And then, my friends, is why the world hates kickers. I kind of feel sorry for them. They need a good return here to set up the offense. Not a bad kick, but not a great one either. Well, his nickname is Luke Warm. And he's proud of that? Yeah, that's 
That's why he made his clothing company lukewarm threads. Their marketing team hates it. The quarterback shifts gears and goes into his hurry up offense. And he's able to grab that one somehow and hold on for the first down. This guy has a nice set of hands. The offense calls a timeout. This is why you save your timeouts. You can use them in the two minute warning. Now I get it. Makes sense, Grim. When in a hurry up offense, the offense needs to run out of bounds or take a timeout to stop the clock. Quarterback drills one in for the first down. And it's first and ten. QB saves some clock by calling a timeout. They have one left. Time to speed things up. The offense goes into a two-minute drill. First down. He was not going to drop that one. They need to make him a target more often. And it's first and... And that's the last time out. They can't stop the clock anymore. Can any of us really stop the clock, Grim? I mean, when it comes right down to it, are we not all united by the constant reminder of our own mortality? Of death's constant, relentless advance? If only it was as easy as telling them time... The kick is good! As expected, those are pretty much just guineas. And that's the end of the second quarter. Someone will need to pull together some bribe money as they head to their lockers. Stay with us for the halftime show, brought to you by our friends at Monsatan Industries. We make genetically altered Franken food you'll have fun trying to identify. Well, the third quarter coming up. Bricks, this game has been a hot mess so far. Yeah, kind of like the morning after eating hot chicken wings. It's a hot mess on the exit ramp, if you know what I mean. The teams are lined up for the kickoff. And that's a returnable ball. Returnable? You mean he can get a refund for it? No, no, Bricks. It, it means he can return it for... You know what? Never mind. And it's first and ten. The ground game should be their bread and butter. A gain of eight right there. Hey, anyone seen that Korean kid yet with my barbecue? Last time I ordered Korean, I got Kim Jong-il. And he'll pick up the first down with a nice piece of running there. And it's first and ten. Second down and more than the QB would like. And that's the way you do it. Eat up chunks of yards with pinpoint passing. Third and two. loves punishing the defenders. That's a first down. And it's first and ten. He grabs it and picks up four on that reception. Second down and six. This is your brain, and this is your brain on berserker drugs. Oh, the unstoppable force meets the explodable object. You ever get hit in the head with a boat all grim? Nope. Well, I have on several occasions. Not surprising. Multiple times on each occasion. Not surprising. And trust me, that hit was worse.
previous play never happened because the defense called a time warp dirty trick and transport their offense back in time. It's just a jump to the left. And a step to the right. Well, he just heard footsteps and took his eye off the ball. What a pick ahead. Get the ball, asshole. Hey, asshole up here. Talking to you. Wow. The quarterback just threw a sonic blast to his receiver, knocking down the... And then's a first down from a great catch. Was it a catch, though? <laughs> Let's consult at least 72 pages of rules to figure it out. <laughs> First down and six. Second down and seven. And he put on the afterburners after that catch and scored. Nicely done. Hey, man. I'm scared of the I am on hell and I'll sell him. Don't make any mistakes here, or they'll kick the shit out of you in the locker room. It's good. The home crowd isn't impressed with that showing, but their team has a chance to respond. And it's first and ten. I personally think that the ginormous guy is compensating for something, but I won't be the one. Oh, he almost broke that one wide open. Hey, speaking of breaking one wide open, who's sitting on the oil rig about to blow? Hey, smells like an oven big porn at John in here. We're a freaking fracking accident waiting to happen. Don't nobody light a match. Oh, what a great defensive play that was, Bricks. Kind of like your Aunt Bertha. This guy has some big balls. What a hit. Yeah, she does have a big pair, Grim. You're right. That's about a three-yard pickup. Second down and seven. And he'll pick up seven yards on that play. Third down and a pussy here. That, my friends, was an all-pro NFL hit. And it's first and ten. And he just used his beast boost. Ooh, hope he's got a good chiropractor. Second down and nine. Second down and a lot. Offense says it's time to put the ref out of his misery. It appears that the last ref was calling his stockbroker during the huddle, and that tipped him off. It looks like he won't be buying that boat anytime soon, huh? Second down and ain't gonna happen, partner. They pick up nine with that catch. Uh, not enough for a first, but still a nice game. 
third down and forever. That's a killer. It was right there, and then he dropped it. Ah, oh, scumbag is killing me in the fantasy league. Well, they couldn't pick up a first down, so now they have to punt. And the punter has one job to do, and that's punt the ball. Preferably further than that. They just let that one drop and play it safe, and the defense says, we'll take it. And it's first and ten. gain on that fast play. Hey, look at the coach. He's picking his nose. The offense lost another quarterback on the previous play and have only two left before they have to forfeit. Yeah, but on the bright side, Wim, they save a ton of money by not having to pay those guys anymore. I don't think the funeral expenses that is. The third quarter has ended, and we'll need a huge rally or a high death toll to make this one interesting. Second down and five. And that'll give them four more downs to punish the defense. And you better believe they will. And it's first and ten. Stepping up their game, Bricks. He just stepped up and blew up. <laughs> He's got a lot of guts, doesn't he? And you can see the ground crew cleaning him up now. Hot potato gets him every time. And it's first and ten. That pass play nets him seven yards. Oh, no. I got the hit. The offense has only one quarterback left. If he dies, it's game over. Nah, this new QB, he don't even look too confident. He's bleeding with the coach on the sidelines about something. Yeah, he's telling his coach to punt. What a pussy. Second and three. warming up. If that hit didn't cripple him, it certainly left skid marks. Boring, but smart. Time to punt. Whoa, whoa, you can't say that on the radio. And that punter gets paid way too much to kick like that. The return man catches the ball and heads upfield. Oh, devastating hit. You ever get hit that hard, Bricks? Yep. Third grade. Sister Mary Margaret of Our Ladies of Holy Hell. I thought it was brass knuckles, but it was just a regular knuckles. And it's first and ten. Huh? 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 with the brain scrambler. <laughs> and it's first and ten. for a second there. Third down and three. Don't you just 
just love the sound of bones snapping and cracking. I mean, when they're not yawn. I don't understand. Why are they going for it, Grim? This seems like the situation where they should always over. And he's running like a moose right now. Well, just when I thought only noobs would go for it on fourth for no real reason, they convert. But did they just get really lucky? Stay tuned. <laughs> First and ten. And that's a first down. Looks like they're just going to pound it up the middle all night, Bricks. They call that the honeymoon offense. I'm not going to touch that one. That's what she said. Well, it looks like he wanted to run before he caught it. You gotta keep your eye on the ball. Come on, you dirtbag. You gotta make that catch. Second down and seven. <laughs> oh, the defender almost picked off the ball on that one. And that'll bring up third down and seven. <laughs> And they stack the line, and he gets his bell run for a yard. If they don't pick it up here, they are giving a gift to the defense. And he catches it for a touchdown! What a beautiful play! Yeah, it's all those power and green. What the high cool? <laughs> Well, why go for one when you could go for two? It's always been my philosophy, but Bricks can't even get one. Oh, you're talking about points. And he runs it in for an easy two points. The momentum in this game may be shifting. Oh, those are just my balls. Hey, thanks for sharing, Bricks. <laughs> The onside kick is a desperation play, but it's their only chance at this point to steal a possession. Stealing ain't right, Grim. It just ain't right. And that's the way to get the sticks moving. He picks up five on that play. And it's first and ten. The Nashville Lichens pulverize the opposition into a bloody mess, and they win this one by forfeit. Yeah, but they just chewed them up and then puked them out. And then ate them up and puked them out. They come up big today with a solid win, and the opposition will be licking their wounds on the long plane ride home. I heard wounds taste just like chicken. How was it Scrambles tomato soup? I forget, but a good scam tastes like bacon. That I know. Mm-mm, a scab lettuce tomato sandwich. Sounds like a picnic. And the MVP is about to inspire us with some words of wisdom. <laughs> Today's game was brought to you by Comcrack Entertainment. They're not happy until you're not happy.